Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim, welcome back to Court Farms Country Park and episode 64 of the Let's Play series. Hope you're all doing very well and having a wonderful day. Tell you what, I am loving this whole streamlined cow feed setup thing that I've got going on now. It is so much easier, so much less time. Just a case of connect the trailer up, auger, TMR, tip point, done. As is the... Uh, the straw situation as well. Let's bring that up. Where are we? There's the feed point trigger thing. Where are you? Here, some. There you go. Right there we go. Yeah. Easy, really. And as is the straw, it's just a case of reverse. Sort of go up to it. Tip the straw in the trailer. Up to it. Tip. Reverse. Done. If you need another trailer load, but uh, generally as a rule, I can get it all in in one. So, where are we now? So, at the last episode, we finished in September, the second day in September. Uh, I spent the 3rd of September, because we're now on the first day of October. I spent the first, the third day of September, sorry, uh, just kind of faffing around, I suppose. Um, if I go into the map, I uh, planted field 90 with another crop of grass. And so now we've got one, two, three, four, five fields, of big fields of grass growing. Fields 55 and 60 here are ready to go. Second stage of growth. So they're going to be getting cut today, uh, picked up and stuck into one of our new bunkers. Um, I also did all the field rolling as well in uh, in all of the fields. So all that's done. And I spent a bit of time. Uh, I actually felt the need to just add a bit more, add a bit of decoration around the place because now the farm is feels nice and busy there's plenty going on i think i've, I've certainly made it my own in respect of uh, placing things down customizing it a bit obviously with the with the inability with the base game farms to remove and change any of the buildings um i'm really quite liking where we are so far so yeah i just thought i'd give it a bit more of a, a lived in feel so i've placed like a bit of junk and rubbish now and uh, here and there um just bits of wood, stacks of bricks, old cement mixes and stuff. Uh, and what I've done over here, because I'd, this shed I never really used, did I? So I've kind of just turned it into a bit of a junk shed. So we've got an old combine, an old tractor, old car lift, engine lift. There's a nice little, typical Britain. There's a mini stashed in the corner, all knackered and <laughs> got some wood bits stuck uh, leaning up against it. So yeah, just, I don't know. You wouldn't call them quality of life stuff, would you? It's just decoration. So I've dotted a few things all over the place. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I did on September the 3rd. As I say, we're now in October. Now, money-wise, uh, a very brief rundown from the money because we've done we've not done too bad at all. Uh, from the from the 2nd of September into the 3rd of September, we made 96,397 quid, which uh, did make my jaw drop a little bit, which was pretty good. I was very happy with that. Um, and then, obviously, like I say, I cracked on. I did spend a little bit of money on the, the placing down of some of the decorations and stuff. Uh, but then, from the set from the third of September to the first of October, we made one hundred and thirty thousand six hundred and three quid, which was even more amazing. So, so we're now at four hundred and forty eight thousand four hundred ninety, as you can see from the top right there. So, that's not going to stay in there for long though, because I do have uh, another plan. I think I did mention it in the last episode. I am going to place down another big cow barn. Now, if I go into the construction menu, I'll show you the, the one that I've got in mind. It's, um, I think it's along this way. Yeah, here we go. Again, Lancy boy to the rescue. Quarter of a million quid. It's a big one. It's going to take a, a lot of money. It's going to empty the bank account. Uh, but I do have the idea of placing it into this field here. So, we may well, depending on where this does take us financially, because I, I, I want to place this down uh, and I want to be able to buy some cows as well. So, depending on how much it costs, where are we at there? 300,000. So that'll leave me with, give or take, a bit about 150 grand. So, I might be, I might actually be all right. I was just, forgive me, I was just thinking on the fly there, I might have to get a very, a very small and short-lived loan. Um... But I might be all right thinking about it. So that's what we're going to crack on with initially. Um, still undecided what order to do things in. We need to crack on with the grass mowing in the two fields down at the bottom there and get that uh, put into one of the new bunkers. We now have four bunkers. Now I have uh, 
again other little details that I've done which you won't really see I've, uh, I've sorted all the auto drive network out redone the auto drive network down here uh, got these two bunkers um, wired in properly and I have also just done a very tiny little bit of uh, forgive me I know this isn't necessarily very interesting uh, but I've just done a very tiny little bit of, uh, of rejigging of the, the little lane here this lane came right down here and was a very tight turn around this little hedge and bend here uh, but because that was because of the the, the unusedness of all this little corner here I've just uh, I've repainted it and made it a little bit more ergonomic and easier for the machines to come back into so that's all good and I have also here I did mention this a couple of episodes ago that I was going to do um, even though this field is potentially going to become yet another sacrificial field because it is the smallest of the ones that we've got I, I just trimmed the edge off here and uh, painted a lane in so to give us some uh, kind of more legitimate access to the grass field here and this one and this one are now properly wired into the auto drive as well so again just uh, keeping you up to date on every little thing that I've done so yeah right um, to be honest I think I'm actually more motivated right now to uh, get down here and get this uh, get this cow barn put in um, get all that done and get all the landscaping done and paint it in as it were um, because if going into the production systems menu very very quickly the we've not we're not running out yet um, but going to the BGA as you can see there silage is it was down for it was up at about 300,000 litres in the previous day we're now down to 118 um, so obviously we haven't got any more silage to put in there yet obviously that's going to come from the grass fields but um, we need to get that working the top top ASAP so anyway forgive me right I am going to spend a few more moments in the construction menu now just placing this big cow barn down now I'm quite excited about this particular cow barn as well because there's, there's two variants of it um, there's one for 200k and one for 250k uh, and this the more expensive one has got uh, as you can see there in the bottom right it says the uh, the Lely or Lely Vector and ID Agro feed kitchen. So I think it I think it might have some kind of automation when it comes to the uh, the feeding of the cows. Not too sure yet, having never used this particular barn. But either way, I just quite like the idea, like the idea of having that uh, technology in the cow barn. So uh, so yeah, give me a few moments, potentially half an hour or so. I'll see you soon. Now then, here we are. Welcome to the new big cow barn. Now, I, I, I know I'm repeating myself here. I've said it numerous times over the episodes, but I do love getting the uh, getting my creative on in the construction menu. I can spend hours and hours in there just touching things up and popping a bit of grass here and smoothing this here and placing that there. But yeah, it's uh, one of my favourite parts of the game. So anyway... Uh, and also on top of uh, on top of that, I think I have might have possibly have just wasted fifty grand. <laughs> um, the the feeding robot aspect of this uh, cow barn is all good and proper, um, but obviously I've got I've already got the total mix ration already mixed in the mixer up there. Uh, having never used one before in the game, literally never ever, um, I didn't appreciate that the feeding robot. I think you pretty much you put the loose stuff in here, uh, and it makes the total mix ration for you. So, uh, had I known that ahead of time, I probably would have placed down the, uh, the, the slightly cheaper version, the one that's 200 grand instead of 250, but hey-ho, it's done now, because it took me a few seconds to appreciate If you look in the bottom right-hand corner there, it's got the, uh, the individual components for the total mix ration. You've got the hay, the silage, the straw, mineral feed, um, but anyway, I suppose I can consider it future-proof now, but uh, not to worry. So, I have placed in, I have purchased 50... Uh, head of cattle, cows, uh, in here, uh, 12 month old heifers, so uh, Holstein, sorry, um, I've given them one trailer of total mix ration and one trailer of straw just to make sure I, because uh, I have wired in the auto drive as well into here, uh, but yeah, it's uh, pretty cool in here I think, and it, it has, does hold the capacity of 500 cows, so I think over time I will be adding more and more into here. Um, I didn't want to completely empty the bank account, so we've still got 100 grand in the bank, which is decent. Um, but obviously that will go up and up and up. I've placed down uh, the same manure bunker again as we got back up there at the farm. 
Um, and it is uh, it is working. It says connected to cow barn with feeding robot there in the bottom right. So that's all good. Anyway, right, field work. We've got to crack on. So we do still have four empty fields. This one here on the left that's got weeds in that needs to be mulched. Uh, and all the, but I think all the other ones have been mulched, haven't they? I think I did that. Uh, yeah. Which I am going to get drilled uh, all with oats because I, I do still need a cereal crop in the ground, obviously for the purposes of straw. Oats being the, mo the more valuable of the of the of the lot, so that's essentially what I'm going to do with those. But for now, initially, immediately, right now, we need to crack on with the grass cutting. So we're going to get back up to the farm, get hooked up to the deer, get the mower hooked up, and get cracking. Looks pretty cool from up here, though, doesn't it? Farm is expanding yet again. Right, all hooked up. So I'm going to work on the uh, field on the left here. First, get that get that mode, and then we'll uh, make our way over there. And I'm going to put the whole mowing of the two fields into a cinematic for this one. It's this one on its own, this little field here on the left on its own won't take too long. So yeah. Catch you when it's all done. Right, both fields mowed, job done. So, need to crack on, no time like the present. We need to get this lot picked up, put into one of the bunkers. I'm gonna start with one of the new bunkers, one of the drive-through ones that we uh, installed in the last episode. I'm keen to see how they behave. Uh, and then as soon as that's done, pretty much as soon as this field is empty, we need to get the new grass roller running in both of these two as well and get the second growth promoted ASAP. That's gonna be the, uh, the kind of behavior I wanna, wanna try and keep keep on top of when it comes to the grass fields get it growing as quickly as possible get the lime topped up get the uh, nitrogen topped up with the digestate 
So yeah, I'm going to get that done off camera and I'll join you back when it's all picked up and in the bunker. Right, okie dokie, there we go, all compacted. Now it doesn't seem anywhere near as full as the previous bunker that we placed over here, of course, because it's, uh, it's a physically bigger bunker. Uh, but in here we have 346,365 litres of chaff. Now again, I know we had about, we had north of 600 and 650,000, I think, in the last one. Uh, but I'm, if I remember correctly, that was, that came from the cornfield, didn't it? So, uh, anyway. And the two fields that we've just mowed and picked up and put in here were much smaller. So the numbers were always going to be smaller. But frustratingly, I can never land on my feet, can I? Um, these, even though these are drive-through bunkers, and I suppose this one has a problem as well. They're the wrong way round for the way I wanted them to be for this, for the orientation of this yard. So I can demonstrate it to you by jumping in here. And if I go to the course play thing, create job. Right, there you go. So if you if you get where we are here in the yard, we're facing forwards, these are the bunkers. The course play bunker silo mode sees this bunker as having a wall at this end, a wall at this end, and even this one, which actually has a wall at this end, it sees the wall at this end. So it's if I I was hoping to take advantage of the bunker silo mode whilst I was in the field picking that stuff up. But the tractor always wants to go round to this side, and obviously it's a bit lumpy and bumpy at this end. I honestly, I didn't think it would, that was going to be a problem. But even with this one as well, it's it's um, it sees the f the wall of this bunker at this end, and not at that end. So I'm like, oh, do you know what? <laughs> so even but even when you go into the bunker here, normally when you walk up to the edge of the bunker, you get the option to blanket the silo. But because of the way that it is. I only get the option to blanket the silo from this half, this end of the of the silo. So it's quite, well, it's a bit frustrating. What can I say? Because even, for example, I, d I don't know whether this is course play or whether it's the mod itself, but obviously the bunker's got lights. It's got an ele electronics and stuff like that, and that's at this end of the, of the bunker. So you kind of expect this end to be the front. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Never mind. It is what it is. So... Blanket silo, right, done. <laughs> there we go. So, oh, damn it, I was hoping to have bought every last litre, but hey-ho, it is what it is. Anyway, right, so let's get this lot tidied away. We're going to, uh, let's fold that thing up. We want to get straight back into the grass fields with the new grass roller there. And uh, get the next growth promoted ASAP. So let's get this thing turned up, uh, disconnected. There we are. Now we've got the weight on the back of this, haven't we? Let's, uh, we're going to swap this around just for now. So we'll lower that one down. Disconnect. Drop back in the tractor. Spin it around as best as we can. There we are. And get our nice shiny green grass roller and make it not quite so shiny anymore. <laughs> there we go, right. Back to the fields. Right, back to the grass fields again. I'm going to get to. Uh, these two fields of grass rolling done and put into a uh, put into another cinematic. Get this uh, new bit of kit tested out. So I'll see you ASAP. Now you are 
Well, that was quick. That really didn't take that long at all, running at 15 miles an hour. And obviously these are relatively small fields. Each field took a roughly about 10 minutes. So uh, hopefully that cinematic came out okay with enough footage. As I say, very quick jobs thanks to the uh, width of this thing and the running speed. But I'm really happy that I made the purchases of these field rollers, the grass and the normal one. It's uh, money well spent as far as I'm concerned. So, grass field wise now, we have, popping into the map, here we go, so we've got, as you can see there now, look at the growth stage of these of the grass, that's what a grass roller does, if any of you weren't aware, it was uh, a few moments ago, it was purple harvested and it's now, it's probably the one of the first three bars of the growth stage there, uh, so we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five big ones and two small ones of grass growing away. Now these empty four fields here, these are, I'm going to get these drilled with oats. We are still well within the planting season for oats, uh, so I'm not, I don't need to be too stressed about getting that done in time. We've got the rest of this month and November as well, but that's, I think that's what we will get done pretty much at the start of the next episode. Um, if I take a quick run over to the grass fields that we drilled in the last episode, I'll just show you those because I don't think I've shown you those in this episode. Have I? I am very happy with this new cow barn though, I've got to say. Really am. We now have capacity for a lot more cows, another 450 if I needed to. So the money that can be produced from that and their manure and their slurry alone in the BGA would be incredible, let alone the milk production. I'm very excited for that. There we go, we've got our our first first of our new bunkers kind of loaded up. Oh, I appreciate it's not a lot in there, I get that. But uh, it's some nonetheless, 300,000 litres. And there's one of the decorative uh, things I placed down early, the big um, tarpaulin covered pile of straw bales. Again, just for a bit of decoration. Uh, but yeah, here is uh, one of the grass fields that we drilled in the last episode looking splendid there's going to be a lot of grass coming out of this and the others so hopefully i imagine i'm going to be spending a lot more time down here with these uh, in these bunkers obviously i'm a bit gutted that uh, technically they're the wrong way around if i was to be solely relying on the course plays bunker silo mode as it happens i'm not going to be i'm going to be doing it all myself aren't i <laughs> But anyway, I think uh, I think for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it here for today's episode. It's uh, It's been a relatively quick one, I suppose, but uh, we've got a lot done. As I say, we've got a couple of grass fields harvested um, and popped into the, uh, into the new bunker. We have our new cow barn down there, which I'm very much looking forward to filling up with more cows. And honestly, I'm just really appreciating the way that the, the farm is coming on. It really is coming on leaps and bounds. Let's just pop into the... Uh, light mode here so we can have a bit of a look from above but yeah really happy with it really happy with it so thanks again for your time for watching the video ladies and gentlemen i really do hope you've enjoyed it and found it even remotely fun and interesting as always if you're new to the channel you like my content you like the way i'm doing things please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the channel and jumping on board giving the video a like if you can if you have liked it of course and as always, there are a host of links in the video description below with my Giants Partner promo code. If any of you are in the market for purchasing a DLC, a season pass, an add-on, or even the full game itself, and you like the idea of helping a content creator out at the same time, I would be massively appreciative. So thanks again, everyone. Thanks for your time. Take care, and I'll see you in the next episode.